Charlie Kao with Travel Mall in Singapore with Frederick Simon, CEO of Two Roads Hospitality Asia. Well, remember, the, the road less travel, the human touch is what you just explained to me about the basis, the foundation to this new hospitality company that has loads of experience, uh, management in place, the Pritzker and Lowe family name behind it, uh, existing properties in, in uh, Southeast Asia and uh, around the world. But let's start talking about the road less traveled and the human touch. Give, give us a background about your new company. I, I think it goes down to the fundamental belief of what makes a great hotel. And I think a great hotel ultimately is about you know, what you will remember is the connection you'll have with the employees and the connection you'll have with the destination. Um, so it is very important the way that we build the culture and that we educate and manage our employees that we give them the empowerment and we give them the freedom to be able to create that human connection and obviously create an environment where they feel rewarded and appreciated and inclined to do so. And for the guests? I think for the guests it's a it's moment that you are actually, um, you know, you, for the guests you don't want to over script the hotel. I mean, I think it, you want, you know, you see now today, particularly in the upcoming generation, people are really keen to experience the real destination, whether it's in a city and they want to understand the neighborhood, whether it's, you know, going to more destination remote location in resorts where they want to really understand what the destination is about, really experience the destination truthfully. Um, I think for the guests, our, our, our mission is to be able to a, really serve them with um, a, 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 a real care and be able to provide them with an opportunity to actually discover what the destination is about. I think I was mistaken to call it a new company, so maybe we'd better correct that immediately by your giving a little background about all the components that that has come together to sure. create this new sure. company. Sure. Well, I think let's first start with the United States different components. Um, it started really with, I think, the creative vision um, behind two main companies. That, that one was obviously Joie de Vivre Hotel, that is more um, yeah, uh, more West Coast based and had a, a really interesting collection of uh, boutique property, um, vertical branding and pricing, um, but all had a really quirky, cool elements to them, and, and, and I think very early on um, understood the need, you know, when probably nobody else was talking about it, understood the need to um, let the guests really interact truthfully with their, with their location and their destination. Um, and you had another company that was called Thompson Hotels um, that was more East Coast based, that was um, very new, cool, chic um, in properties, particularly in New York, with great food and beverage experiences, great bar and nightlife experiences. Um, in uh, a couple of years ago, John Pritzker, uh, through Geolo Capital, acquired um, fairly, uh, pretty much at the same time. Um, acquired first Joie de Vivre Hotel and then acquired um, the Thompson Hotels and, and put that two company together which had a very diversified culture. Um, and at that time recruited um, very experience and um, great years by the name of Niki Leondakis, um, which was one of the driving force behind the success of Kimpton, uh, to come and spearhead the company as the CEO of Commune. And she really uh, and her team created a really amazing uh, culture, um, which we call the Commune Values, 
um, that cemented the platform that allowed to keep both brand very distinctive, but at the same time create a common management platform um, where you know people would understand and people would uh, be equipped to manage a different asset. Um, you have a third component of that is. Uh, in Asia at this time, Alila Hotels and Resorts, which uh, is a management company that started about 14 years ago, um, primarily focused on very high-end resorts and also a couple of city properties. Um, and Alila had grown organically from you know, its beginning to about 12 properties. And we were looking for um, the right partner to continue to grow, to continue to be able to bring um, the, to make the, the brand a more global brand. Um, and at the same time, Commune was looking into uh, being able to expand in Asia and with strong focus on Southeast Asia and China. Um, so we started discussing and quickly realized there was an absolute alignment in vision, which is quite rare, um, to be frank. Um, and a very similar way to look at pretty much everything we did and everything that is all the touch point and all the tools that you need to have to be a successful management company. Um, so we decided to partner. Uh, we brought in Geolo Capital uh, as an equity partner, as a majority part, equity partner of Alila Hotels and Resorts. Um, and Alila Hotels and Resorts became Commune Asia. Um, and we decided that we had two strong management home office, one obviously being in the US and one being in Singapore covering Asia, and decided to split the responsibility, geographical territory in terms of responsibility to you know, promote, develop and operate all our brands uh, globally with the Asia office taking care of um, pretty much all of Asia, inclusive Australia and Japan, and the US office taking care of the rest of the world, in Europe, Africa, and the Americas. Um, and we started growing, we started uh, you know, looking, we, we are now in the pipeline. Which year is that now? That was 2014. Mm -hmm. um, that was, uh, I think, quarter one, 2014. Um, and um, then, Late last year, uh, the third, the, the, the third component or the fourth component, uh, I can't remember how many component we're talking about, but one of the also very important component was Destination Hotels, which was funded uh, by the Low family and was a uh, you know, uh, privately owned, uh, very, uh, very uh, uh, strong family business with real estate, hotel development, um, and particularly renowned for. Um, very good quality destination resorts uh, throughout America. Um, so the Low family and and, uh, and John Pritzker started entering into a discussion and quickly realized that there was an enormous amount of synergy in between what we were doing as commune, particularly in the States, and what the Low were doing. Um, and a lot of added value of putting all that knowledge and all that distribution and all that presence together and elected um, to merge the two companies um, late, late last year, uh, I think officially early, early 2016. Um, and we then became for a little while the new co. <laughs> As I was telling you, I think there's quite a few new co when companies are merging. Uh, up to um, a couple of weeks ago, where we have officially announced that the name of the merge entity um, is now uh, Two Roads Hotels and Resorts. And for those who don't know, the Pritzkers, uh, that family is behind the Hyatt, famed for the Hyatt uh, that's correct. group, yeah, that's, and, that's and Lowe, of course, Lowe's Hotel. Yes. Yes. As well as the Pritzker Price of Architecture, among other things. Yes. Yeah, the same, the same family. Yeah, I think these are two. I think these are two very respected, um, great family that have a long-term view of things that have been obviously both individually very, very successful in whatever they have done so far. And um, are looking at um, you know, 
creating something that we hope is going to be long lasting and creates real added value for all stakeholders, being obviously our guests, being our employees, and being, and very importantly, being our hotel owners and third party owners so that we can you know, provide them with the right real estate value um, that they expect when they sign a management contract. And the brand names will remain. The brand name will, will, will remain. We will uh, keep um, a couple of hard brands and a couple of soft brands. Uh, under the hard brand, we will have, uh, will remain obviously the Alila Hotels, which is in positioning the most exclusive brand that, that, that we operate. Generally, slightly smaller properties. Um, you know, uh, in, in direct competition with other other very um, very high-end luxury brands, um, and uh, then we have the Thompson brand, which is a more playful, uh, very urban approach. We have a couple of resorts, uh, great restaurant and, and nightlife, and, and generally bigger properties. Um, we have the JDV or Joie de Vivre brand, which is a soft, soft brand, um, which is a collection of uh, more urban, smaller, um, less cookie cutter kind of properties, very lifestyle driven properties. We have the destination hotels, which are generally a soft brand also, but more focused towards resort destination, generally mixed used. Um, and uh, we have the Tommy brand, which I think the first one will be in LA, which is what we like to call, which is a hard brand and which we like to call uh, micro luxury. So Alila, uh, where is it now and what's, what's on the drawing board? Um, under the Alila, um, we have today 12 properties operating, uh, primarily in Indonesia, India, and uh, the Middle East. We have one property in Oman. Um, we have under development um, in the next three to four years. Uh, today we're working on about 25 different developments, uh, out of which probably 18 have started construction. So it's going to be quite a good growth for us. Wow, we yes. use uh, a, a strong pipeline in China. Um, we are going to be opening in Sri Lanka. Um, we're going to be opening two properties in Malaysia. We're going to have properties in Vietnam. We have another property in the Middle East. Uh, additional property in India and additional properties in uh, Indonesia. So, still primarily focused uh, around the geographical area that, 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 that you know, we, we know where to operate. But at the same time, uh, there are a couple of Alilas that are currently under discussion in, in particularly in America and, 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 and uh, so we, we believe the brand will continue to have more of a global expansion. In, within Indonesia, yes. in addition to Bali, yes. uh, where else? We have uh, sorry. <laughs> we have a property in uh, Jakarta. Uh, that is, I mean, we have two properties in Jakarta: a small property and, and, and an Alila Jakarta. And we're going to be opening a third property in Jakarta uh, next year, which I think is going to be uh, a really interesting uh, and a great showcase of what an Alila City property is. Um, we have. Uh, we are also working on project in, uh, uh, in Flores, uh, in Labuan Bajo, um, and we're working in a, on a property that is under construction in Bintan, um, and in very advanced discussion for something in Lombok. So, um, so Indonesia is still very important, we see great tourism growth potential, continuing tourism growth potential in Indonesia and particularly I think Indonesia has a lot more to offer than just Bali so I think Indonesia will benefit from opening up uh, you know, particularly all of the eastern islands uh, that are just very beautiful in Indonesia. Yeah, it has a tremendous potential. Frederick Simone, thank you so much. You're welcome.